Diane again with Allied Health Career Training. Here we are talking about corticosteroids in the endocrine system. So, corticosteroids, we love to hate them, and there's a good reason for that. So they're so important in so many ways. One is they relax smooth muscle. Remember, smooth muscle is found in your hollow organs, your blood vessels, your lungs, your bladder, your um, intestine. Any of your hollow organs, you're going to find some smooth muscle. Corticosteroids relax these smooth muscles. Can you see why that would be important in several different body systems, whether it be for the lungs, whether it be for several different things? Let's move on and talk about it also takes down inflammation. I had told you earlier, it is the most powerful anti-inflammatory that you will see. It takes down inflammation. Can you see how that might be important in several different body systems? Next, it suppresses the immune system. Why would you want to suppress the immune system? Well, perhaps you're having an allergic reaction to something. You'd want to re suppress the immune system for that reason. And there are other reasons as well. But these are the three things that you will find corticosteroids doing. And the reasons why people take them can be various. Now, having said that, I want to say that you should never stop them abruptly. Now, it, that's different than if you just get an injection, a corticosteroid injection. That is made for that purpose, to give a bunch and then it'll wear off. Usually what you'll find nowadays is that people will take a, a prednisone burst, you know, where you take several pills one day and then less and then less and then less and then less. So that's a burst. You take a lot to get whatever's going on under control and then you taper down, you see? But if they put you on, if you have a resident that's on say 20 milligrams twice a day, and you come in to work the weekend shift and you find out that you're out of prednisone, there is none, you need to take action. You should not allow them to go the entire weekend without that med. That can be dangerous because what's going on is the adrenal glands, remember, right here, the adrenal glands, that's where those are produced in the body. Now. When you're taking a steroid every day, then your, uh, ad your adrenal glands here don't have to produce it. So they shut down the factory and go to the Bahamas. You know what I mean? And so when you stop taking that, there is not enough time for the message to get back and for the adrenal glands to start manufacturing that again in enough that it makes a difference in that system of the body. So for that reason, if you have someone who's been on, and usually these folks will have an autoimmune disease and perhaps they don't have insurance to cover one of the newer biologics, like Humira or Tecfidera, something like that. And they have been on a steroid for many, many moons. Then um, you might, this is, this is usually where you'll see that kind of thing. Um, or it could be a respiratory, a long, you know, a chronic respiratory disease where they've been on that steroid for a very long time. In that case, then um, that, that is when you might see this. In that situation, if they run out of that steroid, you need to be proactive and do something about it and not allow them to go, you know, two, three, four days without it. That, that could be dangerous. Um, so let's talk about the different steroids that you're going to see. Deltasone, prednisone, dextamethasone, solumet, what? Solumedrol, that doesn't, see the rest have sone? If you got a sone, you probably got a steroid. Now, solumedrol, you might know that the generic is methylprednisone. See? So again, look for your clues. Look for your clues. Okay? Kenacort, 
corticosteroid, look for your clues, folks. Now, prednisone, I believe, is on your exam. So that one you really need to be aware of well and understand that it is a steroid. Now, side effects. Side effects of steroids are pretty remarkable. This is why we do not like folks to be on them any longer than needed, than absolutely needed. Perhaps you have horrible allergies and you used to go to the doctor four, five, six times a year and get a steroid shot. Wow, it works so wonderful. You go back to the doctor this year and he says, you know what, uh, maybe twice a year. I'm not giving any more than that. There's a reason for that. This is, look at this, this is significant. These side effects, weight gain, moon face. Now moon face, if you've ever seen anyone perhaps who has um, had a transplant, they have to be on anti-rejection drugs, many of which are steroids, okay? And because this holds down the immune response, which would be of course very important, right, in a transplant. You're introducing someone else's organ into your body. Your body's going to see it as not belonging to you and it's going to fight it. So you have to take something like that to hold down your immune response. So if you've ever seen anyone perhaps who has had um, a transplant, you might notice that their face now looks very round and puffy. Very round and puffy. That's called a moon face. Um, mood changes. Um, makes some people angry. Um, you just see a lot of mood changes. Um, increased blood pressure, hypertension, right? Osteoporosis, osteo bone porous holes. So osteoporosis, your bones are going to become very brittle. You can break them. Diabetes, diabetes. Increase glucose, blood glucose levels. It interferes with healing and increase of infection. Well, of course, it's holding back your immune system. Of course, you're going to not heal as well and get more infections. Also, bruising, the skin becomes thin, your veins, oh my gosh, to start an IV on someone who's been on a lot of steroids, you can get the IV in there, but once you try to flush it, to push through, it just comes apart. It just, the vein just rips apart. So this is why, look at all those horrible side effects. This is why we don't like folks to be on these any more than they absolutely have to. But some people have to, and if so, make sure you don't stop it abruptly. If you come in and it didn't, the med did not come in from pharmacy, get refilled, be proactive. Know why folks are on it. Look for the side effects. Be aware of this and know your drugs.